So what does it mean to become a great leader? First of all, I think that if you want to be a great leader, then you're already disqualified. I think the highest quality to become a great leader is to not want to be a leader. Not to look for kavod, not to look for honor, but to do the right things in life. And if the right things in life lead you to the position where because of problems you have to step up and take charge, that's a great leader. All of our great leaders throughout history have ran away from the kavod of leadership. They became leaders against their will. They became leaders because they were pushed into it, either because the circumstances of life pushed them into it, or because great prophets told them this is what they have to do. When they wanted to anoint King David, he was hiding with the sheep. When they wanted to anoint King Shaul, he was hiding among the barrels. All of our great leaders, Moshe Rabbeinu, wanted to give it up and ask, plead with God that everyone in the world is better than him to be the leader. He tried to get out of it, a whole week arguing with God to try to get out of it. We learn from here that great leaders are, let me give you a mashal. You have, let's say, a problem of mice in the home. And the housewife is fighting these mice. She hates to fight them, but she has to. And someone gives her an idea, buy a cat. So she buys the cat, and now the cat and her are both fighting the mice. But there's a very big difference. The cat needs the mice and wants the mice to be there so it can enjoy the chase. The housewife, on the other hand, if she was asked, would you rather not have any mice in the house? She said, well, of course, I don't want to have the mice at all. Well, this is the mashal of the two types of leaders. You have leaders like the cat that want to be leaders for their own cupboard, for their own needs. That's unhealthy. And then you have the leader like the housewife. She doesn't want to have the problem. She doesn't want to take charge against these mice. But because of the problem, she must. That's the true leader. So my idea is that to really become a good leader, you have to develop yourself in your midot to do the right things in life. And if the right things in life bring you to that situation where you suddenly find yourself leading other people and inspiring other people and teaching other people to go the right ways, well, that's the will of God. But if you're looking for it and you're looking to be that great leader, that's a kavod issue and it's a very dangerous.